I want to say welcome to our American friends and I want to give you some uh, impressions of the Nuremberg Toy Fair. So thanks for your interest and now we will start. So we want to start with a, a, a little bit of the history. I want to show you what we have done last year. We have more than 20 new models, which we announced 2017, and all of those models we were finishing and shipping to our Pico friends. And now you will have a look on the models you will see. You will see here the cars, all these cars we tooled new, and down here you will see the locomotive for the uh, for Swiss, for Poland, for Germany, and we have the rail bus here, which is a very nice model. And take 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 a look of, on our YouTube channel and have a look on the uh, light functions. It's great. If you bring them together, they will switch off automatically the lights in between of uh, the two cars. And down here. You will see the big one, the BR18, uh, which we were issuing last year. Very nice model for the cheese scale modelers. Okay, now you saw the history and now we will, will walk over to our new cheese scale items. And I will show you the locomotives which will be issued and will be shipped this year. So please come with me and let's have a look. We have now our new items for the cheer skill model and the first thing I want to show you is our BR95 our steam engine a very nice model very nice rods here very high detailed everything is separately so a great locomotive and beside this we also have an electrical locomotive and do you know this guy in here? Have you seen this guy? So, very nice. It's a, it's a typical model. It's a BR103. BR103. And this will be shipped in March. This will come out probably September, October. And for our American friends, we have a special locomotive. My friend, Jonas Manner, who is running the Pico America operation, wanted to get this model and this model is a GE25 a little switcher this is a, a 3d model so not all the details are on we'll have railings here and some other details but this is how it will look like and we will have this as a little switcher and we also have this as a cleaning device so look at here so you can use this as a cleaning device for your layout outside. It will have a battery pack in so if there is no contact you can clean your you, you can keep clean your tracks and I think this is a great device uh, to use these things and you will have a lot of fun. Now I want to show you something which is specially for the people who have a real big garden layout and who are a little bit older and maybe sometimes pain in the back if they put their big locomotives on the floor. And with all the wheels, we have a great item, a great device. And you will see here, you will see here in this vitrine, you will see a rear railer. And the rear railer you put on your tracks and has a metal in, and then you switch on your control unit and the locomotive will run automatically on your tracks not doing anything not laying on the floor it will be on the track perfect and you will have no pain with pico it's a great item and on the rear railer you also see a little teddy bear car okay the car is a, the car is the wrong car but we put this in here you will have this will come later on with a christmas car with a red one and with nice uh, layout and the little teddy bear loves you Teddy Bear loves to be on your layout, so you should buy this car and you will have a lot of fun with the Teddy Bear. And there's one thing I want to show you. Everybody knows me by my eyeglasses. And now I will give you an impression of my new eyeglasses. You see them here. These are the eyeglasses for the year 2018. And if you look here, you see one locomotive, you see the Pico sign. 
and you see the other locomotive. And now you can not buy these eyeglasses, but you can buy the locomotive which is shown here, because this is the locomotive which is on the roundabout in front of our factory. And here you see the little tiny locomotive in HO, and we also have this in TT. After the cheese scale items, I will show you what we are going to issue in HO, TT and end scale. So please come with me and have a look over to the uh, vitrine here. Here we have, we only show the items which are already finished. So the tooling is ready and you see this. Here you see the ÖBB 1041. This is an electric locomotive from Austria. This is uh, announced in October last year to the Austrian market and we already shipped this last week. So behind this you will see the electro, uh, electric locomotive BR1118. Very nice detailed model with a nice pantograph on great item. In the middle you see here the uh, BB60000. This is a, a diesel for the French market. Here you have the BR147. This is a very nice uh, electric locomotive running a lot in Germany in front of passenger trains. Behind there, there is a BR151, also a traditional electric locomotive, also or almost done. These are the first test uh, shots out of the mold, and we will come out maybe in May or June. And here, already finished the TGK2. Different, difficult to to pronounce. This is a Russian locomotive. Uh, it's a switcher which is built thousand times. I don't know. I think seven or eight thousand locomotives are built in the in the Russian uh, in, in Russia and uh, sold then to uh, East Germany, to Czechoslovakia, to Poland, everywhere. And if you look down here, then you see our new Pico A track with concrete ties. I think this is especially important for. Uh, modern trains, if you run with an ICE3, you cannot use the, uh, the wooden uh, ties, you, you need concrete one. And what is interesting is also uh, our new decoder with 44 function and if it's coming as a sound decoder, you have a huge memory space, much more than before. You have 12 bits and you can uh, store a lot of sound. Then we will, if we come over here, you will see for the TT market, we come out with the, uh, this is the HO model, but we will have this, the same locomotive, uh, the BR55, we will come uh, out in, in TT. And down here, you see some pictures of uh, some, uh, some drawings of some new locomotives. Uh, and in the middle is a BR82, which was uh, issued last year. And this is a great N scale. The locomotive we were very successful with this and this comes now in epoch 4 and now before we uh, ending this demonstration we go over again to our layout and i will show you that we have this year starter sets with uh, with digital control and it's a so-called pico smart control light system and uh, we have uh, designed a very good one and inexpensive one. So around maybe 300 US you will get uh, a starter set for the ICE3 with all the functions you need for a digital system. Great thing and maybe you will see this over the year and also you see here on the layout you see our measuring car which was uh, uh, delivered end of last year where you can control everything on your layout what you need. So this was this was just a short overview. In total we have 400 new items which we will ship to the market this year. I think we have a great program. Also we have a great American program with cars but we are not showing them here. Uh, you can have a look in the catalog or you can go on our uh, website and you can have all the pictures of the new items and I will be very pleased if we can put a lot of fun to your model train layout. So, thank you very much.
have a good model train year, have fun with Pico, and thanks for your interest.